Hi, I'm Gidon from thetechnologyman.com. Today we're going to take a look at turning this old netbook, uh, Samsung netbook, into a Chromebook using free software. So I'll guide you through the process, so let's take a look. So first we need to download the software, which we're going to install onto a USB stick. So go to uh, neverware.com and download Cloud Ready, and we're going to download the 32-bit uh, version because we're going to install it on an old, old laptop, an XP laptop. Uh, with an Atom processor, so one of the old netbooks. Um, if you're installing on a slightly newer machine, you could try uh, the 64-bit version. So I'm downloading the file, it's about uh, 600 megabytes. And then we need to install it to the USB stick. So we download the Chromebook recovery utility. I've already downloaded it, I'm gonna launch it. You need to select local image from the cog there at the top right. and then choose the file you've just downloaded. This will create the bootable image that we'll install the Cloud Ready, the Chrome OS from. Make sure you eject the USB stick. So we've inserted the USB stick in this old Samsung NC10 netbook. Keep pressing the F2 key on this model to try and get into the BIOS. And then we need to select the boot priority, so make sure that the USB stick is the first thing that this laptop boots from. Now if you get stuck on this bit, just uh, Google your model and check how you get into the BIOS, and then go into the boot settings and make sure the USB stick is the first device that is booted. You can often select uh, F12 at startup on some laptops to choose the boot device. Save the configuration, and then start up the laptop and it'll boot from this USB stick. So you can actually run the Cloud Ready uh, Chrome OS directly off the USB stick, uh, which you need to start off uh, progressing through, and then you can choose to actually install it permanently onto the laptop. So if you just want to try it out, you can go through the first stage of this video, see how it seems on the laptop, if it feels quite nice and quick, uh, and you're happy with it, then you can then install it onto the laptop itself. So for the setup here, we just want to choose the language and keyboard. And then continue through the initial setup. Now if you have a Gmail account, then you've got a Google login and use that account to log into the laptop. If you're already a big Google user, you may have all your bookmarks, etc., synced with your Google account, which is really nice. So when you log in, everything will be remembered from your Google login details. If not, create a Gmail account before you start this process and then just log in with that account. Because I've logged in with my Google account, it's syncing all my preferences. So we're still in the initial setup, which is actually running off the USB stick itself. So none of this is really that important because we're going to install it um, to the hard drive of the laptop directly in a minute. but if you were just having a little play and seeing how it runs, then this would be all relevant. 
Okay, so now this is the Chrome OS running. You've got the browser there next to the search icon, and you've got your login, login icon at the bottom right. So if we click on the icon at the bottom right of the screen, we can actually install the Cloud Ready OS to the laptop itself. It guides you through this. Click on the Install Cloud Ready icon. Then you have to choose whether you want to dual boot with your existing system or install it as standalone. Now typically if you're picking up an old laptop, as long as you've got some sort of backup or if it's no use anyway, you can just install it standalone and wipe the computer. That's normally the advantage of using something like this. So that's what I've selected here. This process does take about 20 minutes and then it actually just shuts off. So we need to unplug the USB stick and then power on the laptop and that will be running directly off the laptop's hard drive. Because you're now running off the, the hard drive you need to go through the setup again uh, just before we were running off the USB stick. So again select your language and keyboard settings and your network. Sign in with uh, a Google account and that is Chrome OS installed. You can now use this laptop for browsing, email, whatever you like, exactly pretty much as a Chrome book. You can also use a laptop as a guest or you can add other users. So if we browse as a guest, you won't see all your synced bookmarks. So we now have our Chromebook running uh, in the guest account. We can browse the internet, we can log into our email, um, we can do what we like. And hopefully we've given your old laptop a new lease of life. To so shut down, you just click on the icon on the bottom right and select shut down all nice and quick. Okay I hope you found that useful and you'll try it on one of your old laptops. Um, I'd probably recommend using a slightly newer laptop. I've tried on a, a Dell Core 2 Duo laptop which is probably about six or seven years old and it was really quick after putting Chrome OS on it but uh, just for browsing and email um, this netbook um, uh, was really fine and uh, it's a free thing to do and it saves chucking the laptop away. If you want to see more details, please do look at the article on thetechnologyman.com. Thanks very much for watching.